Ladies and gentlemen, President Carter and Mr. Jimmy Carter charity and justice. She taught him to care for all, regardless of race, especially those weaker and less fortunate than himself. And she... in another of its important aspects, the story of President Carter is a story of the South. For when Jimmy Carter, well, the world has changed now. It has changed because men and women like Jimmy Carter stood up in church to protest the exclusion of black people from worship. And it has changed because Jimmy Carter, a black person, should ever again have to bear the additional burden of being deprived of the opportunity for an education, a job, or simple justice. <laughs> to see that the South has truly risen again, transformed, self-confident, moving vigorously on to still greater justice and opportunity. A celebration of the South, the new South, that Jimmy Carter helped to build. Right. Yes, Carter distinguished himself under Captain Rickover for his application to duty for using his gifts, in particular his superb intelligence, to the utmost. He would likewise distinguish himself going from Jimmy Who, to use the cartoonist phrase, to 39th President of the United States. <laughs> Rosalind raised, father myself, out that the Carter's four children have been joined by four grandchildren. And then there's perhaps the most basic value of all, the value of faith, faith that endures, faith that gives strength and consolation and joy. President, for myself, I can pay you no higher honor than to say simply this, you gave of yourself to this country, gracing the White House with your passion and intellect and commitment. 
And now he will become a permanent part of that grand old house. So rich. There's only one thing left to say. From the 40th president to the 39th, happy birthday. <laughs> begins at 70. <laughs> Thank you all. God bless you. that are gathered here, the Emory faculty and such resplendence before us, and especially the fellows of the Carter Center of Emory University to express presidential center and library in Atlanta. This handsome complex, nestled as it is so gracefully, ladies and gentlemen, the Carter Presidential Center, which we dedicate today, is an eloquent expression of the man for whom it's named. He sparked the concept of a center that is to be both an invaluable repository of